Assalamu alaikum kids. Welcome back to the 7th episode from the Sira stories. Kids, have you ever been to Hajj or Umrah? Or have you ever heard these words? Today, I want to tell you something about it. Are you ready? I am sure all of you have seen this. This is the Kaaba. And it is so beautiful. It's shaped like a cube and it stands inside the mosque known as Masjid Al-Haram in Mecca in Saudi Arabia. Look at its gold embroidered black fabric. Every year you see people going for Hajj. During Hajj, people have to go round and round making circles around the Kaaba seven times which is called Tawaf. Kids, do you know that Hajj is a pillar of Islam? And Muslims who can afford to are required to make the pilgrimage that is Hajj once in a lifetime to the Kaaba. Children, when you pray your Salah, what are you supposed to face? The Qibla. Yes, you are right. Facing the Qibla means facing the Kaaba. Muslims from all over the world Pray five times a day facing the Kaaba. Subhanallah, how amazing is that? You know, everything in Islam has a story behind it. And so Kaaba also has a story. I want you now to open up your imaginations and travel back in time again with me. Ready? Long, long time ago, there was a prophet of Allah whose name was Ibrahim a.s. He had a son called Ismail a.s. Both of them worked hard to spread the message of Islam. One day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered Ibrahim a.s. to build a place so people could worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there. So Ibrahim told Ismail about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's orders and asked Ismail to help. And he agreed to help his father to do this great and wonderful job. Together they built and raised the foundations of a house which is now known as Kaaba. When the Kaaba was completed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Angel Jibreel alayhi salam with a special stone from paradise which was called Hajar al-Aswad. And the stone was placed inside the Kaaba. Then the Kaaba became the center for worship for all the Muslims. Many thousands of years later, at the time of Muhammad peace be upon him, before he became a prophet, the people of Mecca decided to rebuild the Kaaba as it caught fire one day that resulted in deep cracks in its walls. Each tribe of Mecca participated in its reconstruction. Work was going on smoothly until the Kaaba was rebuilt. Now it was time to place the black stone in the Kaaba and each of the tribe wanted the honor of doing so. So they started arguing and disputing on who is going to be the one to place the Hajar al-Aswad inside the Kaaba. The argument got so intense that they drew out their swords and were prepared to fight. This dispute lasted for five days until a decision was made that whoever enters the gate of the sacred mosque will decide who will put the black stone in its place. And guess what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had willed that man to be no other than our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. The Quraysh rejoiced upon seeing the Prophet peace be upon him and screamed, This is Muhammad, the trustworthy one. We will all agree with his decision. Each tribe desired the honor of placing the black stone back in its place. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him understood that the situation was intense. He asked for a piece of cloth. He took the black stone and placed it in the middle of the cloth. He then asked 
the chief of each tribe to take hold of one end of the cloth and lift it to its position. When the chiefs of each tribe lifted the stone in the proper manner, the Prophet peace be upon him placed it in its position with his own hands and the building went on above it. And everyone was pleased. Subhanallah. Now you see kids, look at the personality of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Even before he became a prophet of Allah, the disbelievers loved him and respected him and above all, they trusted him even more than their own family members. This teaches us a lesson that if you want the love and respect of the people around you and most of all, if you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the angels to love you, so always speak the truth and never break anyone's trust no matter how difficult the situation is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always helps those who stand for the truth. And in the previous episodes, we learned that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was given a title or you could say a nickname. Do you remember what that was? Yes, it was Sadiqul Amin, the truthful and the trustworthy. So with this, we come to an end to today's episode. If you're benefiting from the Sira stories, Please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.